Is there anything other than the Pyong Pyong noodles? Because that's what everybody goes to do, so. They're like sad Mickey Mouse ears. Okay, now what? Well, I just got off a two hour flight from Shanghai to Xi'an. Anyhow, it's my first time in the city, so first thing I need to do is get a taxi to my hotel. All right, so we've exited the airport and that guy's got my name. Yeah, nice to meet you. Derek. Derek, I like the glasses. All right, very cool. So how far is it to the hotel, Derek? About a... 54 kilometers. 54 kilometers. Okay. Thank you. I visited other cities. Never Xi'an though. This is my first time here. It's your first time to Xi'an? Yeah. Looking forward to it. Uh, Xi'an is a very beautiful city and has a fabulous history. Oh, sure. I mean, it's the capital of like ancient China. So. Yeah, what was it? It was called uh, Chang'an before, right? Yeah. That was the, that's the ancient yeah, name. Time, yeah. called Chang'an. Chang'an, yeah. I booked a car through the Sea Trip app, and it turns out my driver majored in English in college. Lucky me! Now, I knew Xi'an was a big city, but I didn't expect an English speaking driver. I have a, a driver license about 15 years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just did my Chinese driver's license, actually. I had to do all four tests because my Canada license was expired. Oh, expired. So I couldn't, I couldn't just exchange it for a Chinese license. I had to do the whole thing. I had to do e, r, san, so like all of them. I had to do everything. And uh, to be honest, it was more of a, it was more of a language test than a driver's test. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, Derek, my man. Here. Your English is phenomenal, man. Okay. Keep practicing. Okay, okay, Keep okay. practicing. If you don't use it, you lose it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. This is nice. This is nice. Oh, hey. I'll be seeing uh, oh, Imung. His name is Imung. He's got a name tag. I'll be seeing him and his friends later, I suppose. Hello. I have uh, a room for one night, I believe. Do I have the Chinese phone number? Uh, yes, I do. Oh, you can do it here. Oh, excellent. Okay. Five double. Is that the fifth floor or the fiftieth? Okay. Fifth floor. Okay. Just checking. You never know. <laughs> it's five thousand and two. There are buildings with fifty floors. In them. Okay. I had to get up very early this morning, and I need to go to the room and freshen up before heading out to check out the city. So. I'll be back in, well, for you, it's just going to be a cut. But for me, it might be a couple of hours. And now I am so hungry. At the moment, I'm on the Huimingjie. This is a, a street for the Muslim minorities of China. And they've got all manner of kiosks, food stalls, all kinds of food. So a friend of mine gave me a hundred renminbi and challenged me to see how much food I can get on the food street. And yeah, China is all about e-payments now, but my friend did manage to get me some cash. But before we get started, let's find out what the most popular street food is around here. I can't remember the last time I saw a one you had no. <laughs> now yes, I could have simply gone to one place and just bought a whole stink load of lamb skewers. Looks like she's seen better days. Yes. All right, I'm down to my last nine yuan, I believe. 
But, yep, nine. I have nine you had left. But, it's 15. I only have nine. I only had nine yuan left. I went for another lamb scoop. They were nice enough to give it to me for nine instead of ten. Let's see, I spent a hundred yuan. Thanks, Tai. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to do this. Trying to find something for nine kwai on this street, almost impossible. Ten, no problem. Nine. Before the sun went down, we visited the city wall and the bell tower. But I've been told Xi'an really begins to shine at night. This is. Look, they're telling me this is the men's, but. This is definitely a lady's outfit. Yeah? All right, we'll do this one. This time, put on my bling bling. Everybody says that. I don't really believe them. It looks nice though. I like it. Really? Yeah. I, I, I thought I chose the ugliest color they had. No, no, no. Green is a nice color. Right? <laughs> I do feel a little bit less foolish here because so many more people are dressed like this. But uh, it is a beautiful night. There's lots of people out. And this seems to be a major industry here because there is nothing but shops renting out this costume jewelry. And, and then photographers are everywhere taking pictures. People are making money here. Yeah, do you know? Montpellier oh, wow. and Paris. Do you, do you speak French? Montréal. Whoa! <laughs> well, that's it for day one. It's 10 p.m. and Xi'an is still crawling with crowds. But I may have spoken a little too soon because I had no idea what was in store for me on day two. Okay, well, we're outside Chu Shi Huang's mausoleum. It's really hot outside right now, and uh, it's also very crowded. But we'll get in in short order and take a look. I've lived in China for 20 years. I've always wanted to see this place, and I'm finally getting a chance to do it, so pretty excited. covered in sweat. The largest of the three sites, and there's no air conditioning in here. It's like rush hour on the subway times 20. They've set up a uh, I don't know, maybe three to ten terracotta warriors have been turned around to face people as they leave, so you can get a close-up look at them. When you first come in, it's actually quite difficult because everyone's fighting to get to the rail. So this is what's in pit number three. They still appear to be excavating here. Just to give you all an idea of how crazy it is in here. Yeah, it's pretty crazy getting in and, and getting out. But once that's done, it's, uh, it's actually quite nice here. The grounds are beautiful. They're very well kept. Just, just come in September, you know? Just come in September. The kids are back in school. It won't be as crowded. 
and it won't be nearly as warm as it is now. Even though it was a little trying at times, um, I really enjoyed it. I'm glad I came. I really wanted to see this place for a very long time. As I mentioned at the top of this segment, I've lived in China for 20 years. I've always wanted to see the Terracotta Warriors, and today I finally got a chance to do that. So. Hooray! We're just about finished our tour around the grounds. Whoa. We've got one down there. First time I've been within 30 meters of a panda. Dasht 